In today's video, I'm going to be doing a Sunday market analysis, breaking down Euro USD for the next week, what my projections are, and overall, just how the market has gone in the previous week. My name is Luke Burton. I'm the co-founder of Not Just a Trade. I've been trading EU only now for just over three and a half years. And today, I'm going to give you my projection of what price could do. So let's get into it. So Euro USD, I mean, over the past week has been very interesting. We can see that if we start on the weekly chart, what we were looking at from last week moving into this week, we could see that we've had a rejection out of this whole buy to sell range here. We can see the whole buy took out liquidity, initiated to the downside and broke structure. So we know that this needs to be reacted out from in the future. And as we can see two weeks ago, we got a nice rejection as we can see an FU wick followed by an initiation in the next candle. So really this week was just about, are we going to see a continuation of that momentum or are we going to see a reaction out of this whole FU wick that broke structure here to the upside? So we're kind of in between both of these areas now. Um, and let's dive into the lower time frames. Obviously we finished as a doji. We know dojis represent lower time frame ranges. So again, once we go into the lower time frame, we'll start to see that now. Daily chart, what can we see on the daily? Well, it's good to understand what's happened before we've even got to where we are now. So let's just do a bit, bit of a breakdown. We can see that we got lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. And all these lower highs broke a structural low. So we know that in the future, when price comes back into any of these areas, into any of these ranges or orders, that they need to be reacted out from because they fit the, the BFI footprint in the market. That break of structure, that buy to sell followed by that break of structure. So as we can see, price reacted out of a whole sell to buy at the edge of an A to B structure here. We can't see it on Oanda timeframes, but if we go onto the DXY, we can see that this is an edge, so it will be the complete opposite. So it's a whole buy to sell at the edge of an A to B and price has come back in and just reacted out from that edge. So what happened? Well, we can look between the candles and see that we have an inside bar here between the candles, followed by initiation that broke a structure on the lower time frame. So again, we're seeing that BFI footprint in the market. We then pulled back, we mitigated out and we saw continuation. So we went into bullish trending structure. We got our second higher low that broke structure there to the upside. Price then pulled back. Where did it pull back into? The wick. Wicks need to be mitigated. And again, then we saw that continuation of that bullish trend. So we got that low, high, higher, low, higher, high. We pulled back into the edge, created that next higher low. And then we initiated to the upside and saw price break multiple levels of structure here to the upside. Now, like I said before, any range or OB that causes a structure break has to see a reaction. So we knew that price would start to slow down in this sideways range here, which we did. We took the high, we took the low, we started moving into range structure. We can see on the daily chart, we got an A to B that broke structure within the range. We pulled back to the edge and we saw continuation then to the upside. And as we can see, we moved into more December. We know December can be a range, you know, range overall structure in the market. So we started to see, even though price broke out of the sideways range that we were previously in, which is this range here, so we expect the initiation phase, but because we're moving into December, we can also anticipate that price is just going to be sideways overall, which it was. We reacted out of, again, this wick. Like I said, wicks need to be mitigated. So we reacted out of this wick that held price. We also saw a sideways range on the lower time frame here. So again, we could have applied our, our range structure processes. And then we saw continuation back to the downside and we got range here. We initiated that broke structure. That's the BFI footprint. We got that pull back into the range and that continuation. So, and then price continued. And where was our next range that we were looking at? Again, sideways range initiated and broke structure. So again, we know that that needs to be reacted out from. We can see between the candles here that we have a sideways range. When we get price moving down like so, and we get another candle, but the wicks meet on the other side. So we get a wick down and a wick up before then price continues. This is a range. This represents a sideways range here on the lower time frame, followed by a candle that initiates to the downside. So that is our range and initiation. So we know that when price comes back in, in the future, that needs to see a reaction out of this area. So 
As we can see, we got that reaction out here. Price again started to slow down and move sideways as we moved into that point of mitigation. We took out the high, took out the low and created a whole buy to sell in the market, which price then pulled back into the open and saw continuation to the downside. So we know that we moved into sideways range structure because we started taking the high and taking the low. So let's dive into what we actually saw last week, just based on that information. Now, we've only been through the daily and the weekly so far and look how much information that we've gathered so far. You know, we can see that price already, this could potentially be an A to B. So now we can frame off this area as more the edges and the middle of the range. So if we just put our framework on now, we can see that price has moved back into the edge. We reacted out of a whole sell to buy that's now been mitigated at the edge and that can carry intention of higher prices moving into next week. So again, a lot of information already on the daily, just using the concepts and the understanding. 12 hour chart. This is where we're diving into more intraday sort of charts. And as we can see, price has continued off last week, that whole buy to sell mitigation and continuation. And we took out this low. Now, after price has taken out the low, so previously we would have had, in fact, let's go to the four hours, a bit clearer. So previously price would have been inside this range that we had here. And we would have put our range structure on like so. Now price then broke out to the downside and we saw continuation of that momentum, which again fulfilled this whole buy to sell mitigation continuation into the low. After we take out a swing low, we know a new intention can come into the market. So let's play this on. We saw price took out the swing low, we pulled back, we mitigated and we saw continuation. So we could have been entering into a new phase of the market now, which is after price has moved sideways and we break a high or a low, we could potentially move into an initiation phase in the market. So that's what we were anticipating, which is why I was looking for sales on Friday and got involved in a nice sell continuation to the downside. And as we can see after that, we saw a rejection from this whole sell to buy open and then price started moving right back into the range, which is where we've closed now. So we've broken out of the range and we've moved back in. So that's confirmed that we're not in an initiation phase anymore and we're still in range structure. So even we're starting to move into next week, we can now think about sell high locations, which will be up here and potential buy low locations into the range. So, and if that intention follows through from this range that we have here, this high could potentially become a target for the next week, you know? So we've got our potential sell high locations, our buy low locations. And if that intention follows through, then this high is going to become targeted for next week. So if not, then we've got our other points that we can look to sell from. And obviously as price develops throughout the week, we might see continuation to the downside. So this range, this move up might just be to create cause for then an intention in the future and then we may see the continuation of this momentum here to the downside so let's dive in further one hour chart let's get rid of this we've got the whole chart and as we can see so price did break out to the downside during the week we had some really clear trending structure in the market so as we can see this is that trending structure if we just apply that to what's happened this week we can see that we've got that very nice clear trending structure so it was about just getting involved in continuations to the downside obviously we took out that swing high brought new intention into the market we got a strong rejection of higher prices after taking out the swing we mitigated out of the open and that carried intention of lower prices so everything was there once we got the strong high and then we saw the intention in the market to the downside. It was literally just about catching continuations because we knew that this would be the, the target to the downside. And everyone in NJT knew that. So we was looking for those sell continuations after we got that strong rejection of higher prices. So let's move into more intraday now. Let's go through our timeframes, 45. We already have our understanding for what could happen for the week now. Just even, you know, looking at what price has done, we've broken out the range, we've moved back in. So we're still in range structure. We can clearly see that we're in initiation structure right now because we're not getting any sort of deep pullbacks. So now, you know, moving into next week, we also have liquidity that price can start to target to the upside. These could just now become just reaction points in the market in order to create more liquidity to continue into higher prices. So for me, I'm going to be looking at playing some potential continuations if we get some ranges and some continuations to the upside. 
We do also have to think about if price is going to continue to the downside, even in, you know, more towards the edges or after we break the swing. If we do then continue back to the downside, we have to start to anticipate that price is going to start to create more liquidity here in order to fuel that move to the downside. So we really have to understand what's happening in price and start to anticipate, you know, what price can create here for the future moves that can come into the market. And that can, again, give us an understanding of what price wants to do. The same with how price has created liquidity here. If that is to have fuel this move now for a continuation to the upside, then we know that even though price was bearish and we were looking for price to take out this low, we're also anticipating that price is creating this liquidity for a, an intention in the future, which could be coming in now. So again, let's go down to our 15 minute chart. That's our more intraday time frame where we we'll start to looking at, you know, more intraday structure um, and seeing what market structures that we're currently in. Let's just go back through last week. So after we got the strong rejection of higher prices, we see the intention, the aggression and speed in the market. And this is where I took my sell here in the week. And that ended up closing on Wednesday for a one to 15. And as we see that intention just continues, that trend structure continued to the downside. We also got sideways range, initiation, mitigation, continuations. There were some nice sell continuations on the way down to even take out those lows intraday. And then we saw again, sideways range initiation to the downside. We got that slower pullback mitigation and continuation. So again, some more really interesting sales to get involved in on the way down. And again, we got the same thing the next day when we broke out to the downside, we got sideways range initiation, mitigation and continuation. So we got some very clear intention overall in the week as we were breaking the, the swing structure low, the range low, as I was seeing during the week on Friday, all I was then doing was looking to take some continuations and we got a sideways range structure here. Price was contained sideways. Again, we got after taking out a high, we got a strong rejection of higher prices. And then on the lower time frame, it was about taking continuations to the downside. So again, we got involved in another trade here that was another one to 15 as a continuation to the downside. So for me and myself, a very, very good week. Overall, we got into two one to 15s finished the week with after commissions, I think it's about 24 and a half percent, which is again, incredible week overall. Um, and it was a very patient week overall because we had a lot of news during the week. Um, so yeah, so moving into next week, I'll be looking for some continuations to the upside because we're seeing some clear intention now. Um, and obviously now we're moving into the week, we've got some relative equal highs and we've got some stacked highs here as well and more liquidity here to the upside. So it'll be interesting to see if we get that continuation in the market to the upside. I'll be waiting to see if we create a sideways range here and we you know, potentially could create liquidity for the future. And then I'll be looking for some continuations to the upside. When we start getting into how price is moving, if we continue to move with a lot of intention to the upside, like so, then I'll be looking for continuations up into the edge here and potentially for price to take out this swing high that we have up here. Now, if price starts to slow down and we start to see some continuations out of these sideways ranges to the downside, and we start to see that intention continue into the downside, then I'll be looking for those continuations again to the downside to target this swing low that we have down here for continuation. Now, price is already showing us intention to the upside. So right now I'm just going to trade with that momentum to the upside. So we'll see how market opens. We'll see how Monday projects and uh, what sort of price delivery we get. So we can see if we can get some continuations for the start of the week. Hope you all enjoyed that quick breakdown. Um, if you did enjoy it, leave us a like and comment and let us know if this is going to help you. And we'll start to continue to do these on a Sunday. 